Hey guys, what's going on? Steve is back. It's time for another short, quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to use your iPad as a second monitor with your Mac. Just know there's some prerequisites that you might need, and I'll post those up here, let you read through them, and then we can get started. Let's go. So here are some of the system requirements I was telling you about. These are the Mac models that this will work on. So you could see what MacBook Pro models, which MacBook models, MacBook Air, iMacs, Mac Minis, and what iPad models um, are compatible. I'm currently using a 16 inch MacBook Pro, so the new model without the M1 chip, and I'm using an older iPad 6 generation. So I have pretty much the last iPad model that's compatible. The first thing you'll need to set up on your Mac and your iPad is handoff. I'll link this website below. To set up handoff on your Mac, it's easy. Go to the Apple icon, System Preferences, General. So that's right here. Apple, System Preferences, General. And then you click all the way on the bottom. Allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. Mine is already selected. Now, to enable handoff on your iPad, just go to Settings, General, and then AirPlay and handoff, then turn it on. And as you can see, mine's already turned on, so I am all set up already. All right, so once that's set up, you're all good to go. I'm on Big Sur, so what I need to do is go to the display menu and control center, that's in the top right, right here. It's like two little bars, and I'll show a picture. I click on that, go down to display, click on that, and then simply click on iPad. And then in a couple of seconds, the screen should go black, come back on. And now I have my iPad as a second screen. So you can see, let's click here, drag that. And there it is, the screen goes onto my iPad. Of course, there are a couple of other additional requirements. Like obviously both of your devices need to be signed into iCloud with the same Apple ID using two-factor authentication. And you also need to be within 30 feet of each other, your Mac and your iPad, and you have to be connected to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and have handoff turned on. This is really pretty simple. If the video isn't 100% helpful, I'll link below both pages that have all detailed instructions. And that should get you to get this set up literally in like two minutes. So I hope you like the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, any comments, leave them below. I'll be sure to answer you as quick as possible. And follow me on Twitter at strange177a, Instagram, 31 Photography, and you can follow Ben and I on Instagram at Tech Guys Chronicles. I really hope this was helpful. See you on the next video. Later, guys.